Radio. Welcome back to Full On Football, of course, with our guests tonight, Con Antonio from Adelaide Comets and gentleman John Perrin. Uh, guys, Premier League time. Gentlemen. Yeah, gentlemen. Right, That's guys. what you described as you. You were a gentleman, weren't you? Right. I think only one time you really lost your cool and threw your shirt at no, Jim no, Campbell, no, didn't you? Oh, well, no. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you're right, Matt. That's what you <laughs> Correct, yeah. We won't keep, go into carry that, on. Now, shall Let's, we? Keep going. Okay, the Premier League segment, and um, Con, I just want to know what was your plan of action when you actually, with your football, when you came out of the amateur league, yeah. going into state league. Were you looking at sort of finishing off your career in the state league because um, yeah. getting a championship sort of put all yeah. your plans out of the window, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, I, I wasn't there at the at the amateur stages. <laughs> right. I was probably still playing. I was in Victoria actually playing over there. So okay. when I originally came there from the State League, their intentions were to go up, yeah, they were probably to the Premier League. Probably that's about as far as they wanted to go for the next couple of years and probably stick around there. Um, mm. Their intentions, you know, have been probably to give it their best, obviously, like any club, and slowly grow as a club. I think... Uh, they're, they're in the right process, especially with administration and stuff like that. They're, they're probably one of the best form of an administration club that I've actually ever played at. So, you know, they're, they're on their way, that's for sure. Well, I have to say, over the three years that we've been doing yeah. this show, I've always saying that the club is very professional. Yeah. It's run yeah. professionally. Yeah. It, they do everything professionally. Yeah. Uh, a credit to the club. Yeah. Uh, you doing the double last year, best player of the year yeah. and player's player. Yeah. You don't look too happy, what's wrong? He's very modest, Matt. He's very modest. Oh nah, because it's, it's, not, it's really not about myself anymore. You know, I don't worry about personal accolades. I worry about the team and probably trying to give it back to all the young kids as well. Because, um, you know, if you worry about yourself and stuff like that, you know, I think that's all finished for me. You know goes back to when I was at Metro, the same sort of thing, you know, we, we never worried about personal accolades or stuff like that. It's probably, the more the more teenly you actually make it, the probably more successful you'll be as a club and as a team, mm. so. Con, I, I, look, I know it's early days yet and you're still, mm. you're still halfway through the season, but um, can you see the team that you have now being strong enough to maintain your status in the Super League if you go up? Yeah. Um, because oh, yeah. you, know, yeah. you know, the reason I ask yeah. is because you see yeah. uh, Croydon this year, they, yeah. they, they, they were promoted yeah. and they've kept basically the yeah. same team and yeah. it just goes to prove that yeah. uh, with all due respect to players yeah. that you have to get yeah. you out of one league yeah, that's right. uh, are, uh, are not going to be good enough to, to maintain your status to be competitive and to keep you in the higher, in the higher division. Yeah, that's right. So do you, yeah. do you, do you think that, you, that the yeah. club will be, will be looking at strengthening? The, the club will have to strengthen. Sure. Whether you like it or not, um, with our team at the moment, probably we rely a lot on, on experience. Yep. You know, and probably in the next step up, I think some of us, whether we like it or not, would struggle because uh, just for the pure factors, you know, it's South Australia is a small place, and I think a lot of players know your game. You know, and especially a lot of players that probably stuck around the Super Leagues and played in the Super Leagues, like myself. You know, Ryan Moore, um, Renette Galanopoulos, You know, the older guys and. You know, they know our game, and I think when you take that next start, step up with the Super League, it's probably just a little bit smarter in the sense of, you know, when you play your Panthers and, and, your, and your other teams like that, where there's, you know, they, they know your game, they know what you're about, and, you know, they, they probably concentrate on the same things, mm. Mm. same things over there, so. And look, I've noticed you're a bit of a talker on the pitch, but there's something else that I've actually uh, noticed about you. Um, you seem to be the only player in the Premier League that wears a long sleeve shirt. Can you tell me? <laughs> oh, it just gets too cold for me. <laughs> it gets too cold. I play at the back these days and, you know, I don't run as much. So, therefore, you know, I try and cut corners and stuff like that. So, therefore, I've got to keep the long sleeve shirt. And I like, I like the long sleeve, sort of. <laughs> is it that or is it the fact that the opposition doesn't get to your uh, end of the field? Yeah, no, nah, I don't get it. To, yeah, to keep no, you I don't active. Them. I don't let them, yeah. <laughs> There's also another thing that I'd like you to confirm. Oh. Um, I also heard that you were working in the club canteen and running for club. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not at all. Not at all. It's a little joke there. Is it? No? Yeah, yeah, the clowns. I've been finding some little inside secrets yeah, about you lately. Yeah, the clowns. Don't worry about me. Well, I'll tell you what. Look, um, there is something big that's happening at the club, and I want you to focus in on this. What is going on here? None bigger than your coach, uh, Dougie Patterson. 
What is going on here? Mr. B. Mr. B. <laughs> That's right. He's, Mr. B. He's lapping it up, that's for sure. <laughs> he is lapping that. it up. Yeah. Is that because of his size 16 shoes? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I kind of looked at that. So, um, yeah, I th I unbelievable, th isn't he? Just loves the limelight, doesn't he? Yeah, no, he loves it. <laughs> yeah, all about that. He's, uh, he's enjoying it at the moment, which is good for him. It's good for the club as well. Good exposure. Does mm. he have a bit of a female following after that article? Mm. He reckons he hasn't been out since. So oh, yeah. he's okay. asked the questions, yeah. but he reckons he's been okay. laying low. He reckons he's in the, in the spotlight. Oh, so. <laughs> oh <laughs> very good. Low. Now, look, also, um, look, you have got some great num names in the football club over there. <laughs> You've got Raymond Blair, mm. another legend of football. Mm. He, absolutely fantastic guy. I've, many a times I've had great conversations mm. with him. Um, you've also had some newcomers. Ken Tosh has come in. Um, sure. What's his role there? He's just recently joined. Kenny's an assistant coach at the moment. Our, our um, last assistant coach just stepped down mm -hmm. and Kenny's taken in and he's doing a great job. Yeah, he's, he's just adding a whole different dimension. We've got a lot of, lot of experience down there. You know, you got, especially in the juniors, you know, you've got the Panners, uh, Karamidis, mm -hmm. um, Constantopoulos. You know, there's a whole, there's a whole juniors. I think we've got one of the biggest juniors in South Australia at the yeah, moment, yeah. and especially with those guys in charge, I think you know, good. it's going to be, it's going to be a big thing for the future. And and, and also, uh, you've got Stevie Johnson from Salisbury. I That's still right. cannot get used to him not being at Salisbury. I'm still <laughs> was just relying on him being yeah. at Salisbury. But the biggest pickup, the best pickup, Mohamed Kone, who's sitting now, top goal scorer on 12 goals, absolutely fantastic for you guys. Yeah, that's right. Mohamed's kept, Mohamed came to us from Toros. I think he scored something like five goals the year, that year, the, uh, last year. And you know we've just nurtured him and taken him in, and, and he's, he's, he's enjoying it. I think he's enjoying his, his football. I think one thing he said to me was, you know, he's not expected to do everything as he was at yeah, Toros and yeah. he's got, other, he's, he's got a, that's right he's got other players that can sort of change the game and stuff like that and he's enjoying that and you know he knows he just has to do his bit and he's doing it. Fantastic. Now isn't it good to see these ex-players and uh, I know you mentioned mm. Raymond Blair, Kenny Tosh, mm. wonderful players you know in their day and adding something to the club but you also said that your juniors looked after by Blokes like George Constantopoulos, mm -hmm. Panner, and these guys, oh, yeah. and it's wonderful to see these boys putting something back into the game and taking on these young kids. And it's, uh, these kids can learn a lot from from players like that. Uh, well, uh, a lot of a lot of their sons obviously play yes, at the moment. Yeah, and <clears throat> I've gone down a lot of Sundays to go see you know the juniors and stuff like that, and just you know some of the some of the soccer they're playing. Mm. You know, even at such a young age, mm. it's just incredible. And they're just, they're, they're all, I think, you know, a good, good percentage of those young kids that are going to come through will be, you know, highly skilled. The future and looking good for Comets then, eh? Uh, oh, obviously. oh, definitely. Well, let's have a look. Speaking of the Premier League and the fixtures, let's have a look at the fixtures for round 11 and see what you're, what you're up against this weekend. Um, we've got Norlunga taking on Pirates at Wilford Taylor Reserve. We've got Cobras and Panthers at Weagle Oval. Um, a very important match here, Adelaide Hills, Western Strikers, that's third versus fifth. Um, Adelaide Hills have lost the last two games, so they would really want to be bouncing back up, and Western Strikers are a bit up and down. Um, Enfield are taking on Cumberland at night at 7pm. It's a must win for Enfield there, otherwise, I mean, they're just going to be uh, kissing their, their, their season goodbye, basically. And your game, Adelaide Comets are taking on Adelaide Olympic 1v2, that is the blockbuster of the round there. Definitely, definitely. It's going to be it's going to be a big game. Um, looking forward to it. That's, that's <laughs> you got to watch Ivanovic up there. Yeah, that's a job for you, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Ivanovic. Yeah, yeah. I think we're we I think one thing we're taking as we're going forward is that you know we're actually not that bad. You know, and a lot of teams are worrying about us. You know, and you know for, for this time, you know, probably in the first time in the probably club's history, is that clubs are more worried about us mm. than we're worried about them. So. We just take each game as it comes. I think we're just happy where we are, and I think we've already, we've already succeeded as a club. You know, where we take it from here is, is all up to the players. Most definitely. Um, well, look, I think we're going to leave it at that, and uh, good luck on the weekend for you guys. You. Um, it's a very, very tough match for you. It's mm -hmm. going to be interesting to see what happens in that match and whether you're going to be, have a bit of discipline or whether the yeah. discipline will <laughs> wear itself yeah. away during the match yeah. will be interesting. But right. uh, we wish all teams a great game and we look forward to the results uh, next week. Time for a few words from our sponsors. Uh, so stick with us because you're watching Full On Football.